Isabel Webster branded Hugh Edwards' wife Vicky Flint courageous and dignified after she named her husband as the BBC presenter at the center of a sex scandal. In her statement, Vicky said Hugh is currently in hospital battling serious mental health issues in the aftermath of the allegations. The GB News host told her Twitter followers the police found no evidence of criminality and the public should now choose compassion for the veteran BBC presenter. In view of her 41,500 followers Isabel typed, courageous and dignified from Vicky Flynn. The Met Police have found no evidence of criminality. Hugh Edwards is one of the finest broadcasters in this country and like all public figures is entitled to a private life. Let's choose compassion over righteous indignation, she added. In a statement given to the media, HW's wife shared, In light of the recent reporting regarding the BBC presenter I am making this statement on behalf of my husband Hugh Edwards, after what have been five extremely difficult days for our family. I am doing this primarily out of concern for his mental well-being and to protect our children. Hugh is suffering from serious mental health issues. As is well documented, he has been treated for severe depression in recent years. The events of the last few days have greatly worsened matters, he has suffered another serious episode and is now receiving inpatient hospital care where he'll stay for the foreseeable future. Once well enough to do so, he intends to respond to the stories that have been published. To be clear he was first told that there were allegations being made against him last Thursday. In the circumstances and given HW's condition I would like to ask that the privacy of my family and everyone else caught up in these upsetting events is respected. I know that Hugh is deeply sorry that so many colleagues have been impacted by the recent media speculation. We hope this statement will bring that to an end. A spokesperson for the BBC said, We have seen the statement from the police confirming they have completed their assessment and are not taking further action. We're grateful to them for completing this work at speed. The police had previously asked us to pause our fact-finding investigations and we will now move forward with that work ensuring due process and a thorough assessment of the facts, whilst continuing to be mindful of our duty of care to all involved. In his May 2022 interview with mental health columnist Alistair Campbell, the veteran BBC News presenter shared that he has been battling depression and anxiety since 2002 and it tends to hit him in a strong wave and then go away. If you or someone you know has been affected by this story, Samaritans, 116-123, operates a 24-hour service available every day of the year. Alternatively, you can find more information on the Samaritans website, https colon slash slash www.samaritans.org slash from